There's some new video into CNN. Donald Trump's deposition with prosecutors played before the jury at his ongoing civil battery and defamation trial. It has been released to the public. The lawsuit, you'll remember, was brought by E. Jean Carroll, who has accused Trump of raping her in a department store dressing room in the mid-1990s. See, that's Kara Scannell. She's been following the trial. Kara, this tape of the deposition as a whole runs uh, for, for an hour. What are the newest pieces that we learn from it? Well, Jim, this is the video deposition that was played before the jury yesterday, who has been sitting through this seven-day battery and defamation trial. And just as a reminder, E. Jean Carroll sued Trump, alleging that she that he raped her in Bergdorf Goodman department store in the mid-1990s and then defamed her when he said she's not his type, he didn't know her, and that she made up the story and, and it was a hoax. So this is the first time that, you know, we're going to see now what the jury saw yesterday, and it's the first time the public will see how Donald Trump answered these questions. This comes from the deposition he sat for in October of last fall. So take a listen. Read the next, go ahead, that she's not my type. Yeah, because it's not politically correct to say it, and I know that, but I'll say it anyway. She's accusing me of rape. A woman that I have no idea who she is. It came out of the blue. She's accusing me of rape, of raping her. The worst thing you can do, the worst charge, and and you know it's you know it's not true too. You're a political operative also. You're disgrace. You're a disgrace. But she's accusing me, and so are you, of rape, and it never took place. And I will tell you, I made that statement, and I said, well, it's politically incorrect. She's not my type, and that's a hundred percent true. She's not my. type. So there you see Trump being asked the specific, going right to the heart of this case. Did he make those statements? He says he did. And he's denying the battery claim there that he raped her. You know, of the whole deposition, this is probably the most agitated that he has appeared. At other points, he's very much hunched over with his hands clasped. But there you can see he becomes quite agitated about this. Uh, you know, there's a lot more to it. We're working to cutting it up. So we'll have more to bring to you, Jim. But, uh, you know, that's kind of the, the first. You kind of really get a sense of how Trump was handling this deposition here, mm -hmm. uh, which was about 48 minutes long. Yeah, well, a familiar uh, tactic, right, to attack uh, the person accusing him in very personal terms. Kara Scannell, thanks so much. Uh, joining us now is CNN's new chief legal analyst, Laura Coast, here to, to discuss this. And let's talk about both sides of this mm -hmm. trial, if we can, because as, as you noted to me uh, just now, it's, it's a battery and a defamation trial. Right. So you, 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 in effect, have two pieces of, of this. Let's let's begin with the allegation of the attack, the rape here. Part of Trump's defense, which I find almost mind-boggling, is is for him to say and he feels it helps defend himself. She's not my type, mm -hmm. well, and therefore I would not have touched her, which I suppose is his is his argument here. But but in an additional piece of this, we see him mistake uh, a picture of his uh, of Jean Carroll. He says, no, that that's my wife, his second wife at the time, Marla Maples which seems to undermine his argument because he just mistook Gene Carroll for his wife at the time. Regardless, let's let people be the judge. Have a listen. I want to get your reaction. I don't even know who the woman. Let's see. I don't know who. It's Marla. You say Marla's in this photo? That's Marla, yeah. That's, that's my wife. Which woman are you pointing to? No. That's Here. Carol. Oh, that, the oh, person okay. you just pointed to was oh, Eugene Carroll. Who is that? Who is this? Point, your wife. And the person, the woman on the right is your then wife, I don't Ivana? know. This was the picture. Ivana. I assume that's John Johnson. Is that Carroll? Because it's very blurry. Yeah. I mean, if he's part of his defense is she's not my type, but he just mistook her for his then wife, is that material? So let's keep in mind two things here. Remember, mm -hmm. he is being accused of battery, an offensive touching, mm -hmm. which is where the rape allegations come in. Why this is she my type, is she not my, my type statement is so important is not for the salaciousness of pointing out the absurdity of what you, you reference. And again, survivors will tell you, rape is about power. It's not yeah, about the absolutely. laws of attraction. Absolutely. And so when you think about it from that perspective, the whole point of him making that statement and then leaning into it is to suggest that she has lied about any relationship that they may have had mm -hmm. or interacted. 
action in some form or fashion. And he's saying, I don't know her. She's not my type. I would never have done yeah. this. He's essentially backing up his claim that she is a liar. And that's the form of the defamation here. Remember, it's not just about saying an insult, right? You can insult someone in this world. But if you actually publicize a statement that is a false assertion of fact, not a matter of opinion, but a false assertion mm. of fact that lowers someone's reputation, then you're in defamation yeah. territory. That's okay. why calling her a liar or suggesting that he would not have done this and that she has concocted the story is important. Yeah, no question. And by the way, I mean, it sounds it, it sounds somewhat odd too to, to the, the implication being it would have been more likely the claim would be more substantial if she was my type. Regardless, that's, that's just to an outside to think about. an outside observer, right. not a lawyer. So, so to, to your point about defamation being central to this case, let's play another uh, another clip from this deposition in which he calls the case uh, a hoax. Have a listen. Now, in your true social statement on October 12, um, you use the word hoax. Specifically, you say it is a hoax and a lie, just like all the other hoaxes that have been played on me for the past seven years. Do you see that? Yeah. Oh, recall making that statement. Um, and I take it what you're saying there is um, Ms. Carroll fabricated um, her claim that you sexually assaulted her, correct? Yes, totally. Okay. 100%. Now, is that relevant to the defamation? That case, is right? the defamation mm -hmm. assertion here. Remember, if you say something is untrue, I mean, that's provable to be true or not. Mm -hmm. And you make the assertion in a way that undermines or damages someone's reputation, this way being credibility, one's integrity, yeah. impugning and all those things. That is the entirety of a defamation case. But you have to actually show, which is why Takapina was so invested mm -hmm. in trying to point out that somehow her life had been better at this point in time, that people saw her in a very different and more favorable light, or they hadn't had a lesser opinion of her. That's all going to be part and parcel to a jury's determination of whether your reputation has actually been damaged. And so all of of this. There's all sorts of details here. I'm very intrigued that we're seeing the whole deposition because it gave it that much more yeah. weight because he did not testify. We right. have until Sunday to yeah. know if he actually will not do so. But if he chooses not to testify, that ship is sailed and that buttresses the entire deposition. This, this is a civil case. Is the, is the standard a preponderance of evidence as opposed to beyond a reasonable doubt? It's a preponderance, doubt? Gotcha. meaning more likely than not. Right. That's not the highest of standards, right? So he doesn't have, have a, it's like 50 Point oh 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 one percent more. Different from a criminal trial. Yes. Uh, Laura Coates, thanks so much as always.